Oh man, we made it back, dude. Barely. We almost missed that train. We almost missed that bus. We missed almost everything. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I think between my uh, hodgepodge of alcohol and insanity, yeah. I'm kind of glad that I made it onto the subway here now. Well, at least I bought that car for 20 bucks. I was able to drive us to the train and then fucking set it on fire. Well, you know, what, what's good is a car for 20 bucks and you can't ignite it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta set it on fire. Cars don't set themselves on fire. No. I've been saying that for years. Yeah, you need a lot of gasoline and a lighter. That's why we survived Atlantic City, though, because we're, we're not afraid to light things on fire. To no, no. Set matches. And Piles of sand or buildings that should have been set on fire a long time ago. Or crowds. Back in New York City, and look who's still here. Look who's still here in New York City. Cyrus McQueen. What's happening? Oh, man. What's up? I'm so glad we were able to run into this guy, dude. Holding it down over here in the New York City while we were gone, man. Good. And then, uh, if you aren't our fucking welcoming committee, sir, we uh, yeah just returned from the shit show we call Atlantic City. Just got back, dude. Can you smell it on us? Can you smell the old <laughs> I people? Smell, I, I smell, I smell disappointment and, yeah. and, 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 and broken promises. Oh yeah, man, yeah, 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 all right, it's right. It's, yeah, it's it's, it's rank. Yeah. As long as, you didn't, as long as you didn't smell that felony, that's all oh, I'm concerned good. with. Good, we're clean on that. This is, a, this is our welcoming bouquet. Yep. I saw... <laughs> Instead of roses, we got a cardboard box thrown at our face. I saw literal garbage, I saw figurative garbage. Yeah. 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 Any sort of garbage, walking, breathing, or just on the ground. In the human form human or form. in the yeah. tangible. All right. all right, man, well, we got that show to Abigail later, but I don't know, should we go back to Jim's place and hang out? Fuck yeah, man. Good I mean, show. I've got I've got the Judge Mathis on the DVR. I got plenty. I got everything from a steamboat to a billy goat. That's who he is. Do you want, <laughs> ladies? I do you want? <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you got to offer the ladies how do you, these days. How do you know? How did you know that was his size? It's got it's got to be a combo. <laughs> He just knows it's the right color. Yeah, at least he got the color right. Or, I mean, like, if you're looking at it from a Valentine's aspect, it's more of a mathematical equation, because it's yeah. like fresh cut roses yeah. plus DVD movies right. equals hot dog combo. Yeah, equals hot dog combo. That's... Equals you get the hot dog combo. Oh, we might, we might be, we might, we might have something to work with. Yeah, you got, you got yeah. Cyrus is going to get the hot dog combo. Yo, Cy, you going to get the hot dog combo? Straight up, if he gets that, he better not shit in my house. <laughs> This is a mix of A Thousand Ways to Die and the Food Network. That looks like somebody's finger. We can fill up on nacho cheese, though. That looks dangerous. They got a good selection here. Yeah. I'm glad that the DVD market has gone down so considerably that you, can, uh, that you can get good quality ones at gas stations. This is the future of Blockbuster. Blockbuster should just turn into a gas station. Yeah. You have to diversify. You gotta have donuts. I can tell you on the record now that uh, Judge Mathis is actually the youngest appellate court judge in Michigan history. Well, How do I know that? Because I watched this show every day when I was in college. Oh, and man. I remember that in the commercials from the beginning. Did you read his autobiography? It's got that it's got a thing about him where he'll start on one topic and then go up to like Andromeda space and then come back down to something completely different. Just like, quiet, ma'am. <laughs> this is why you got the ticket. Have you guys seen Brooklyn? I hate that people are upset that she got a divorce or that we pay attention to it. If you just don't get upset. No, I do, but I just think that if you don't pay attention to it, then it goes away. You know what? She... Kim Car she's essentially like a seven-year-old. If you don't pay attention, it will go away. Yeah. 
Fox up in the house. All that shit is good. Brooklyn's in the hood. I love it all. Eastern Parkway, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. You better, you better copyright that shit, dude. Uh, 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 uh. It's dripping in the house, pops up in your mouth. Every time the green point, <laughs> William Drug is cool too. We got in Prospect Heights, got houses right over there. Manhattan. Yeah. I accept that. There's so much going on there. So many people. So many stories. So many windows to look in. So, so many <laughs> stories. So many issues. Yeah. Issues. So, so many issues. Yeah. Ain't so many issues. A better way of fucking looking at it. Everyone's most got one. Of story. I got Everybody a story. No. One. Everyone subscribe to something. Of issues. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You've. Yeah, Daddy on. issues, yeah. mommy issues, clothing issues. Yep. Food issues. Boyfriend issues, girlfriend issues. Both of those issues. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't know. Having hair issues. Oh, man. Well, we better. Better be getting off this roof pretty soon. The sun, the sun is coming down, which means that uh, the Brooklyn scumbags will come out to play. How's that? Uh, <laughs> how'd that hot dog treat you, bud? You know, it's funny. It's funny you should mention that. Was, uh, Little bubble guts, bud. Yeah, his stomach is bubbling. He's got the BGs, right. well, man. Uh, stomach is bubbling. Better your house than mine, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, sure. <laughs> should be, should be a good crowd. I'm ready to do it. I think so. It's a nice night. It's a nice night for people who want to come out and laugh. People are sad every day. <laughs> they are. This is New York City. All right. Yeah. So, I had somebody recently ask me if I had any hobbies. <laughs> I said no. No. Because I'm an adult. And adults don't have hobbies. You know why adults don't have hobbies? Because they have jobs, okay? Because they have places they have to be for eight to 16 hours of the day, which leads them to not have extra time to do shit, right? Okay, that's, that's the way that works. Like, all right, if you're an adult and you have a job and you have a hobby, get another fucking job. <laughs> Get another fucking job. Because fuck collecting stamps. Collect another paycheck. I want to meet a stamp collector. I'd love to meet a stamp collector. Because I want to know what their job is. I want to know what else supplements their time between, oh, oh man, I got a hard on over the fucking Christmas Hanukkah stamp. Oh man, this is it. Oh, the Neon Celebrate stamp? It's worth $8.80. Hang on, Mom. Let me tell you what I found. Oh man, have you guys uh, ever done, I was at a thing called the Walk of Shame? You guys ever done that? Yeah. 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 Let me slowly clap. You'll feel better about it, fellas. So, whatever. The Walk of Shame is like the turn they give when like you're riding the train the next morning in your clothes from the night before. Uh, but I don't even think, there's nothing shameful about that because the whole reason that we get dressed up and shower and shave and shave our pits or whatever in the first place is so that we can get laid. Like, we want to hook up. You know, it's like a walk of victory or as a friend pointed out to me, it's the walk of fame. <laughs> Not the walk of shame. It's the walk of fame because you're like, you're like a celebrity. You're like, every because everybody tries to get laid but only like 1% of us are successful, you know? It's like... Everybody tries to become an actor. Everyone tries to get into Hollywood, but only 1% actually has the paparazzi taking pictures of them. And that's where the resentment comes from. While you're sitting there smelling like beer and like bodily fluids, still wearing your Tom Hardy t-shirt or Tim Hardy, who that fucking guy is. <laughs> <laughs> wearing your, your shirt from the night before and like some dude is like razor bumps, he's spilling his coffee on you as he's hoping he's not late for his job and he looks you with the disgust. He's not, he's digging on your lifestyle because he wants it. He wants to change the places with you, you know? It's like, I think the real walk of shame is if you're like walking away from a burned down building uh, and you have a full fire extinguisher in your hand. <laughs> Making the neighborhoods, dude. And well, they've got the 10 best things right now. Are we on that list? Because we're right nah, now. I'm 11. You know the girls, uh, this is the girls I'm talking about. You know these girls, what, like every other word they say is like? You know these girls, and they just fucking took over the entire train. Like, I heard these girls, they must have been on their way out, because this is the nature of their conversation. It goes like, yeah, we're like so getting hooked up tonight. Yeah, seriously. Like, I met the guy, his name is JP, he's like a promoter. 
Yeah. And we're like getting trip tickets. We're like getting it for free. I think we're like on a list. <laughs> Seriously, it's gonna be awesome. And then two of the girls started going back and she's like, now Becca, I know you're not ever Justin, but like seriously, like do not text him tonight. Seriously, like do not text him. He's a D-bag. You do not need to put up with his shit. Like seriously, like if he texts you, I'm like do not text him back. And of course my iPod was dead, so I was forced to listen to this shit, right? <laughs> but it got me thinking like, well fuck, what did men do before the iPod? You figure packs of annoying women have probably been ruining subway rides for the last hundred years, <laughs> right? Can you imagine the 1920s? A guy like me is sitting there and a group of flappers gets on. <laughs> like, all right, now what's up, girls? What's up, man? We're gonna have a good time in the hot town tonight, I tell you. A good time in the hot town tonight, I tell you. I got my hip flask on with the nets on that. We're gonna nets through the Charleston all night long, all night long. You and me, girls, here we go. Now, remember, we're there. The password is swordfish. The password is swordfish. <laughs> hey, Gertrude. Hey, Gertrude, what's with the sour push? You still thinking about Joe? I oh, forget about Joe. He's nothing but a big dumb polka. I tell you, he's a big dumb polka. You're too good for him, Gertie. You know what we're going to tonight? Girls, get a pretty good guys there. Guys, they know how to treat a lady. Now, remember, we're here to go. The password is swordfish. The password is swordfish. <laughs> Some guy's like, oh! But you know back then, men would yell at women, so he's like, you dames, break down! <laughs> and they're like, ah, what's it to you, buster? Why don't you put an egg in your shoe and beat it? <laughs> Another day in a Brooklyn -y experience, I guess. Yeah, it is the Brooklyn -y experience. It's what it's all about. Screw <laughs> the glitch and the glam. Yeah, man. I, t I, I told the limo to not pick me up tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean the fucking two train? Exactly. <laughs> that I purposely said. missed it. Semi-conscious at the Abigail. Scene two, take two. Yeah.